What to know about media requests for curfew exception? Well, some journalists are being let go during crisis. This is me, Joe Shalawit from Voice Online, and I'll be telling you all about it. The Foreign Correspondents Club of Thailand, or FCCT, petitioned Prime Minister General Prayut Chan Ocha on Monday, requesting him to lift the ban on media from reporting on field during nighttime curfew. Which does not allow people to go out of their residence between 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Exceptions are for certain jobs being permitted by Thai authorities. For example, medical workers and bankers, not journalists. Some media outlets were told to request for special permission from General p o n p i p a t Ben y a s i Chief of Defense Forces, so as to be able to work on field during curfew. The letter from FCCT reads: We believe the Thai and foreign media play a key role, reporting to the world at large the emergency measures your government is undertaking. They added, however, we respectfully request that officially accredited media be permitted to work and move about during curfew hours, if essential, and provided they observe proper social distancing and other recommended safety precautions. We sincerely hope that presentation of an official Thai government-issued press ID card will enable all journalists to do this and allow them to fulfill their proper roles during the present crisis. Meanwhile, the FCCT Executive Committee has mentioned in their official Facebook post: Around the world, media coverage inside hospitals, emergency centers, and curfew zones. Is highlighting the enormity of this threat and providing vital information to people everywhere. It is in this context we have submitted this request, with the assurance that our members understand the urgent need to take every precaution and respect the government's efforts to protect public safety. However, Thai Journalists Association has yet to make a move regarding this issue. Besides media being banned to work during nighttime, 2019 was a harsh seven anniversary for digital TV industry in Thailand. It had been encountering with pressures from both revenue and costs for many years. Some had to bear up to 10 billion Thai baht net loss over their last four years in the business. As a result. Seven digital TV channels decided to return their licenses to the National Broadcasting and Telecommunication Commission, or NBTC, and exited the business at the end of July 2019. Two channels was already out of the business long before that, making a total number of nine channels, which pulled out from the air. Only 15 digital TV channels remain until now. Moreover. One of Thailand's largest news outlets, Nation Multimedia Group, was badly affected by COVID-19 crisis and Thai economy. The company started cutting salaries of their staff since April 1st this year, and allowed department managers to lay off their employees if necessarily. Other kinds of payments, such as compensations, overtime pay, and welfare, were either adjusted or suspended. The k o m c h a n l u k newspaper publication department and Nation Weekend magazine were cancelled, and its CEO announced not to receive his salary and compensation to help the company cope with this situation. On the contrary, m a k i n p e p l y CEO of Voice Online and Voice TV Group, confirmed that there would be no layoff. Instead, he encouraged journalists and employees at Voice Online. To work from home if possible, to continue doing such essential work by providing correct news and information to people both in Thailand and abroad during this crucial time. On top of that, there will be no change regarding payments for employees of Voice Online, and everyone is being looked after with COVID-19 insurance. That is on top of the social security and welfares we already have. This is what to know by Voice Online. I'm Josh o l o w i t reporting. Please click like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment below. See you next time.